Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. So in this video, we are going to discuss about machine types in Google Compute Engine. So let's take an example. If you want to purchase a laptop, what you will look for? So you will look for the configuration. You will look for how much RAM it is having, how much CPU core it is having, how much hard disk size it is having. And based on that, it will decide the price of your laptop. Okay, so more better the configuration, more price, price will be there. So similarly, same case in terms of a Google Compute Engine or VM instance. So first you have to decide the specification required for your virtual machine and that specification together called as the machine type for your Google Compute Engine. So machine types define a virtual hardware configuration like CPU memory and other resources for your virtual machine in Google Compute Engine. Okay, so they'll allow you to select appropriate resource for your specific workload. So based on your machine type, it will decide how much CPU it is having, how much RAM it is having. Okay, so there are different types of machine types in the Google Cloud. So one is predefined machine type. So it will provide you ready to use configuration with fixed CPU and memory ratios. So this category in general purpose machine type which are balanced for variety of workload. So example is commonly used into standard, into standard, and one standard. So these are the machine types are commonly used in Google Cloud. So these are general purpose predefined machine type. Again, you can choose your custom machine type and you can customize this configuration. You can customize flexible configuration what CPU you need or what memory you need. Okay, so I'll just go to a Google Cloud console and show you the different machine types available and how the pricing will vary based on the different machine type. Before that, we'll first see how we can decide which machine type we need because there is a variety of machine types available in cloud. But how we can decide which machine type is best suited for our workload so that we can find in the documentation. Okay, first let me go to the documentation and we'll show you what are the different machine types available for different different workload. Now I am in product page for virtual machine computer engine workload product page. Okay, so here if I scroll down, you will see choose the right VM for your workload. So choose the right VM means it is suggesting the machine type so if you want lowest cost per core efficient for web app with low traffic dev and test environment containerized microservice virtual desktop then we can choose machine type with e2 now what are the different machine types available in this e2 let me open a tab here and let's check a general purpose machine type okay so there are e2 micro e2 small so you can see all the machine types here within a e2 Okay, so you can see it to standard two, so it is having two CPU, eight GB memory. It to standard four, it is having four CPU, sixteen GB memory. Standard eight, it is having eight thirty two. So based on the machine type, your configuration will vary. Okay, so if we check for flexible best price performance, then there is N four, N one, N two D series is there for best performance with advanced capabilities if you want to use for high traffic web application ad servers gaming server data analytics databases then you can use a c4 c3 c3d c4a series okay the pricing will be high for these if you want a highest computer per core then this is again for compute bound workload high performance computing cpu based aiml then you can use for h3 series Again, if for highest memory in memory databases, you can use M3 X4 series. So based on your workload, you can find a machine type here. But how we can decide the cost? So you can either check the cost in the pricing and also while creating the virtual machine, you can see the cost. Let me go to the Google Cloud Console now and let's see how we can check the cost while selecting the machine type. Now I am in my Compute Engine homepage. So let me try to create one VM instance. Okay. First thing it will ask us for to select the machine configuration zone region. Okay. So we'll just change as a machine type. Okay. It's not allowed. Okay. Now you can see currently it is E2 low cost day to day computing. The price is $25 per month. If I go with N4 the price will be high so now it is 70 
if I go with the C4 so it is 72 if I go with again here is option memory optimized okay so if I go with 4 it's the large memory databases so currently not available for this machine type but we can check in the pricing table let's check for M3 okay so it is 5261 okay you can see pricing 5261 because it is having almost 1 TB of memory so it is for very high memory extensive databases if we go for GPU based okay so this is NVIDIA so this won't be available but yeah it is 203 203 per month 203 dollar per month so based on this machine type you can choose a different machine type for your workload also you have to take care of the cost as well so hope you understood what is machine type and how we can choose a appropriate machine type for your workload and how we can check the cost for these machine types so that's it for this video and we'll see further on a computer engine in our further video so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you again in a next video